Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to A Rabbit's Tale. My name is DJ Ear, and today I'm going to play Jack and Daxter, the Precursor Legacy. Uh, a game that is near to dear to my heart, and I, uh, I, I first got it years and years ago uh, when it first came out on... Uh, oh, let's, uh, let's, let's play over here. Um, I, I, I got it back, back when it first came out on the PlayStation, or PlayStation 2. And, and um, I've been a huge Jack and Daxter fan the ever since. Why did they create the vast monoliths that litter our planet? How did they harness eco, the life energy of the world? So we are playing on a computer. It's emulated. Uh, it might be a little glitchy here and there. I have asked the plants, but they do not remember. But I think it'll be worth it. The plants have asked the rocks, but the rocks do not recall. Even the rocks do not recall. Every bone in my body tells me that the answers rest on the shoulders of a young boy. Oblivious to his destiny, on the internet, we go. search for truth and rejecting of my guidance. Our protagonists, and ladies and gentlemen. I want to listen to old same as the sage anyway. I'm only the master of green ego, one of the wisest men on the planet. <sighs> So it seems the answer begins not with careful research or sensible thinking. Nay! As with many of fate's mysteries... I, uh... I have played this game just a little bit too much, probably. <laughs> hey! Uh, Jack, old green stuff told us not to come here. So we're gonna go here anyways. <laughs> I can't help it. I, I, I love these characters. And I, I probably will be a little quiet during some of these cutscenes. There, there, there can be some deal of talking. <clears throat> Continue your search for artifacts and eco. If the locals possess precursor items, you know what to do. Deal harshly with anybody who strays from the village. We will attack it in due time. Our antagonists, ladies and gentlemen. What are we doing here anyway, Jack? This place gives me the creeps. I kind of like Daxter, the way he looks, huh? like this. Oh, stupid precursor junk. Got that cool, like, red outfit. Eek! What is that dark ooze? It sure don't look friendly. <gasps> The sage yaps on about the precursors that built this place all the time. Where did they go? Why did they build this crud? Now, I like precursor orbs and power cells as much as the next guy. But if you ask me, they must have been real losers. Wow! How did you do that? I don't know. I think we're in trouble! And you gotta hand it to, uh, I think it's Josh Mansell who did all the music for this. Man, that stung! I told you we shouldn't have come here, and you listened. I might be wrong. What? Oh, Dax was a furry now. Okay, okay. Officially an otzel. <laughs> All right. Well, we rejoin our heroes as they sneak back into in Green Tarnation. Do you two want Samus's was, was, hut? I, I was... Don't tell me. Instead of heeding my wisdom, the two of you went mucking around in the only place that I told you not to go, Misty Island. That's right. And then and Daxter, you finally took a much-needed bath, but in a bathtub filled with dark eco. Look, old man, are you gonna keep yapping? Are you gonna help me out? This is yes. such a cool game cause, uh, because uh, one of the one of their big things they wanted to do the when they when they made this was to create a game that had zero loading times, which they pretty much succeed at, I think. long enough to have a chance at returning you to your previous form. Carl Acheron, the sage, but he lives far to the north, far, far to the north. 
Nobody has spoken to him in ages. I would teleport you there, but I can't do that either. None of the three sages that maintain the other teleporter gates have seen fit to turn their ends on for quite a while. Yep. The only other way what I what I do love is just fire canyon, it, it's you know when you're when you're looking out at the world it looks like you can get to to any other place that you can see and then you almost can really ah. our love interest ladies and gentlemen yes Kira that might work but where are a boy and a half going to get 20 power cells? From the villagers. Most of them have a power cell or two stashed away. She calls somewhere. Samos daddy, Even but, uh, uh I don't see the resemblance. The orb should do the trick. And I bet Maybe it's just me. Well, we got the brave adventurer. Brave adventurer? Brave adventurer? You two couldn't find your way out of the village without training. Before you do All right, so a good five minutes in, and we can we can finally make our way to Geyser Rock. Get some practice in, learn how to play the game. Get in there before I turn you both into ferns. And away we go. All right, we are we are here. This device is a communicator. With it, my father and I can give you advice at any time during your quest. Yep. All right. Well, tell me what these are, Kira. These floating egg-shaped things are precursor orbs. Collect enough of them, and some of the villagers will give you a power cell in exchange. Really? Well, that isn't that interesting. Okay. I'm probably not going to be 100%ing this game. We're just going to play through and enjoy ourselves. Kira, can you tell me what that is? This is a power cell, the most important precursor artifact you can find. My goodness. Sounds very important. So I can power the heat shield for your Agrav Zoomer. Ah, the Agrav Zoomer. It's a great name. Well, we will collect 20 of these then. I'm sure that won't take too much time. Yep. I, uh, I know how to save, I know how to punch, I know how to spin. I don't think I need to kill all these things, but... I haven't played this game in, in a little while, so... Double jump. I did find one of your scout flies. So there'll be some little graphical glitches here and there since we're emulating, uh, but not too bad. I've I've done my best to uh, get all the settings as as tight as as possible. You know, for the optimal experience. It's the optimal Jack and Daxter experience. Bam. Yep. I'll bet if you collect all seven in each area, you can find even more power cells. So there's the beach out there. We can see that. Let's just uh, let's just collect orbs. Since we're here, we may as well. And uh, so our goal is going to be to collect power cells. In order to get power cells, we're going to need to collect uh, orbs and. Do all kinds of fun little tasks. And, even some and yes, uh, Samos wants to let us know about Blue Eco, which lets us do stuff. Yep. Makes me run fast, opens doors, gets me killed. Man, the camera is just not having fun with me today. Cool, that works. Can you tell me about this gigantic door? This is a precursor door. Ah. It can only be opened by approaching the door while channeling blue eco through your body. Okay. Well, I uh I will do that then. And uh can you tell me what this is over here? That's a blue eco vent. Ah, I see. More concentrated 
than the floating clusters. This vent will give you a full charge of blue eco, letting you use it for the maximum time. You know, all in all, not a bad tutorial. Honestly, not a bad tutorial at all. At all. Grab ourselves another power cell. Bam. Good work. The blue eco caused the door to open. With blue Give me that. Eco, you can breathe energy into all kinds of precursor artifacts. Oh my god. It's either the camera or the uh, the joystick that I'm playing this with. But that's okay. And uh, Samos. Those little green balls of energy on the ground are a type of eco. Oh, are they? Pick up well, isn't this just incredible? One big green one to increase your health. Absolutely incredible. I'm so glad that you were here to, to let me know this. I don't think I would have been able to get through my adventure without have figuring this out. Boy, that, that ocean is just, uh... You can jump once, Ow. Then jump again in the air to reach even higher ledges. There we go, Geyser Rock, 50 out of 50. We got all of the uh, pre precursor orbs that we needed, and we'll pick up this power cell. That should be all the power cells we need as well. No? Did I miss a power cell around here somewhere? No, we got all of them. Alright, cool. Let's head back to Samos' hut. We've now been playing for almost 10 minutes, and we haven't even... We've, we've finished the tutorial, so, you know. By, by PS2 standards, I suppose that's not so bad. We'd love to stay in chat, Big Green, but we're, uh, itching to get on with our adventures. Fine, fine. Adventure away, then. And while you're out adventuring, why don't you make yourself useful? My darn green eco-collectors are clumped so up So this is definitely where we'll head, head out first. To the far side of the beach and clear them out, why don't you? Yeah. Follow the lamps. They'll take you right there. Alrighty, well, we will head over to the beach, take out the green eco collectors, and collect ourselves some easy power cells. And we could talk to folks, but we don't have to. Oh! Just so that Naughty Dog can let you know, they, uh, they've also made Crash Bandicoot. Kira's in there, we don't need to talk to her. We're gonna head on over to Sandover Village. Oops. There's some folks in here as well. I'm not going to talk to them either. We'll have to do it on our own anyways later. So we may as well just head straight to the beach. Isn't there a little thing around here? Oh yeah. We'll probably collect as many of these as we can just because it's an easy... It's an easy power cell if we can collect all of them in the, in, a, in the same area. There we go. Let's grab these. Just pick these all up. Now this guy's gonna blow these up for us. Unfortunately, we can't get up there, so we won't be able to 100% Sandover Village until a little bit later. We gotta come back here once uh, once we've done some fun things. Are you gonna blow this up for me yet? But in the meantime, whoops. This guy's trying to kill me. In the meantime, we can use this to nab some quick power... Uh, power cells. Some quick precursor orbs. There we go. The more precursor orbs we get, the easier it will be for us to get power cells from villagers and people and folks and things like that. Oh, you are dead, buddy. <laughs> um, let's run over here first and 
collect all of these. I bet we did. Let's get, back and make the Let's get this first. Yes! It's mine! And you can't take it away from me. Alright. Uh, let's do this. Yep. Oops. All right. Let's get in here. We'll grab a couple of power cells while we're at it. Oops. And one more. Unfortunately, this is one of those one of those games where if we really want to get through it as fast as we can without doing some kind of speedrunning techniques, which I don't know how to do very well. We just want to make our way through as easy as we can. What a weird looking thing. I'll bet we can get this Yeah, tell me about the weird looking thing later. Right now, it's a race for the power cell. Quick! We have to get to the power cell before the pelican scoops it up again. Oop, and some, there's some more orbs in the water. We'll have to come back and pick those up in just a bit. That's okay. Whoop. Got it. Oh, he was getting a little close. But we're good. Alright, so we already got six, six power cells. That's not too bad. There we go. Let's grab a couple more of these. Yeah, we've got some fun movement techniques in this game. Probably one of my favorite platformers. And, uh... I think it's... It's definitely, uh, telling. You know, after this series, they went off to do, uh, Uncharted, I believe. So we'll just swim on over here. And pick up some things under the waterfall. You can almost make them out. There they are. Okay. Let's just make our way over here to the far side of the of the beach. This is where Samos's collectors are. We'll get to them in a bit. Let's uh let's get down here. We're going to want to pop those things up. Just like that. Yeah, Daxter, I, uh, I know what I'm doing. Oop, one more. There we go, that should do it. And then over here as well. Doing more work in these early levels is gonna allow us to do less work in some of the later levels, which is, honestly, I take it. Did I get this last one? I feel like I did. Oops. Oh, I must have got it. All right. Well, good. We will we'll jump up there in just a bit. Take out these guys. There we go. Not much going on up here. I think behind one of these is uh, nothing. Oh, it must be back here. Yeah, that's okay. Wow, you saw the seagulls from behind the rocks. That's incredible, Daxter. Uh, I will. Let's let's grab this first since we're over here. So we still have four more of those to get. That's okay. We're on our way. 
Let's pick up a power cell. I also I love the way that the uh, the day night cycle is in this game. It's got a green sun, which is kind of interesting um, during the morning. Mm -hmm. And there we go. Some more power cells. Oh, look, the birds caused an avalanche. Well, what do you know? Sometimes that just happens. Okay. They caused an avalanche. Let's check it out. The the seagulls caused an avalanche. Sure, okay. Whatever you say, naughty dog. I'll take your I'll take your word for it. Okay. Oops. Oops, not gonna make that one. There we go. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! We slid straight off. Jack, you gotta put some sh some shoes on, man. Dig your toes into the grass or something. All right. And since we're here. We'll clean up the eco collectors. Get ourselves another power cell. Whoop. Yep. Oh, and what do you know? Yeah. Alrighty. Should I just let him finish? Nah, screw it. I have so much to do. <laughs> okay. Let's just stroll this way for a bit. I don't remember if there's anything else uh, on this ledge. I think we need to just get up top. And uh, there'll be just a couple more things for us to take care of up top, and then we will be done with the beach. Okay. Uh, we'll get back to that. Let's just collect stuff first. Isn't that nice? Yeah, I want to move you guys out of the way. Uh, there we go. Good job. Now meet me down here by the egg. Yeah, lady, who I obviously must have known was there at the beginning. <laughs> uh, we might want to talk to the bird watcher and see if we scramble that flood flood egg. Yeah, we'll get there. Yeah, uh, let's do this first. Oops. There we go. Pick up some free precursor orbs. And, uh, we'll talk to this lady about the flut flut egg. I hope the poor deer's okay. Here's a power cell for your valor. Why, thank you. Oh, isn't it adorable? No, no. It's a big no, blue bird. No, 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 no. Look, isn't that cute? Mm -hmm. Just think you're its mama. Ah, I'm not your mom. You see any feathers here? Oh, love at first sight. Oh. <laughs> Listen, boys, I'll take this little chick back to the village with me and work with the sage to take care of her. And in return, a power cell. Just like that. <clears throat> All right, ten power cells, not a bad start. Uh, 
I think there's one more crate around here somewhere. Oh yeah, we can go up there and grab a couple of extra little things. And then I think we are done here until a little later in the game. Unfortunately. Oh! Fantastic! Alright, make that 11. Well, thank you for letting me know, Daxter. Whoop. We got a little time left. Why don't we, uh, we'll run back, check out the village a little bit, smack my face into a rock or two. You know, the usual. Because there's plenty of things we're going to need to collect in the village as well. Like this guy. Let's hey, talk to him. Little furry dude. What's oh, up? I thought for a moment you were my muse. You're what? Haven't you ever seen a muse before? It's a little glowing squirrel about your size, full of spunk, and crazy as a lark. Oh, I get it. Like a sidekick. As a matter of fact, without my muse. I just can't sculpt. Little little furry guy full of spunk. I see beauty in everything, you know. Little furry dude. I couldn't chisel my way out of a box. Poor guy. I think she ran away to that misty island. She just ran away across the ocean. All right. <laughs> Put the if you bring her back to me. Wait a minute. We are not going back to Misty Island. Are we? Yeah, we might have to. It's worth it. It's got a it's got a chunk of uh, power cells and orbs and and things. Is there anything in here? I forget. Nope. Just an empty hut. Uh, one of these has a. Uh, oh, we'll talk to the mayor later, and he'll give us a bunch of power cells. But in the, in the back of his his little hut here, we've got a scout fly, so we'll grab that. And I think the I think the other one we need is inside of the farmers down here. Yeah, bring in the crops for the children. Yeah, don't don't forget bringing the crops. <laughs> yep, everyone's favorite thing is gonna be herding them dem yakow into the into the pen. I bet you can't wait. It's exciting, isn't it? Doesn't it, doesn't it just sound exciting? Alright, there we go. And let's see. The other one is back this way. Yeah, I don't know what he's growing over here. I guess rice or something. He's got a little, like a little rice patty. Just sitting on the rocks over there. Yeah. It is a funky looking sculpture, isn't it? Alright. We can carefully make our way over here. There's the last No, second to last scout fly. In Sandover Village. We may as well talk to the Oracle, why not? Oh, look at him, he looks so happy. One of you has the light within. Ooh. From One of us has the light I within. And waited for the true hero to return. Present to me 120 precursor orbs for each power cell I contain. Yep. He's gonna want a whole lot of precursor orbs. We will deal with him later when we come back. We're gonna have to make our way back through the game a little bit later on. Sneak our way up. This is the area Kira was telling us about that our uh, Agrav Zoomer is gonna be necessary for in order to get through. We're just gonna preemptively collect these uh, 
<laughs> okay. These, uh, precursor orbs. And, uh... Make our way over to the Forbidden Jungle. Basically, my plan right now is we're gonna collect all the all the orbs we need to collect, and then we'll come on back to the village, pay up, give orbs to people. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. And uh, then, once everyone's happy with their orbs, we'll have enough power cells to make our way to the next location. So let's see what we've got going on in here. Yep, there we go. That's gonna be the jungle. But we will go to the jungle next time on A Rabbit's Tale. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Take care, and I'll see you soon.